Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I sat down and my husband starts smiling at me. He says, I wonder what she's going to talk about today. I don't really know, but I do know there's a few things that I forgot the other day. Boy, I forget everything when I'm, I've got the notebook today, so maybe I'll follow it. Sometimes I write it down and then I'm, I don't even use it, and then I forget and then I go to... Um, upload and then I realized I forgot to even mention and I had it written down. Well today I was watching a little bit of television and I remember saying to my husband they're trying to kill the old people off and the reason I said that is they're telling there's this lady in the elevator I'll paint the picture she's in the elevator and somebody behind her coughs and the little TV screen starts talking to her saying that um, do you think your um, sh your shot or your immunization is going to be strong enough if you get the regular flu shot to keep you from getting the flu? So now they're telling seniors that are 65 and older to go get the flu, flu zone high dose, which is a double dose of this terrible stuff that they're they're trying to kill us off. I think I don't know. Maybe they're not. But it, sound, it feels like it. It feels it like feels like, it. feels like they don't know. You know, like there's a lot of people that get the flu and they get terribly sick. So now if you get the double dose of that terrible stuff that's supposed to make you feel better. <laughs> I don't. And then you still get the flu. And then you still get the flu. And if it's a double dose, you're really going to be sick. So I'd say don't bother. I'm not going to bother. But and I'm, I'm the 65 plus though. <laughs> And you're not a doctor. And I'm not a doctor. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Opinion. You guys get the shot if you want to. And if you don't, oh, my battery says it's low. Oh, I'm going to have to stop this for just a split second, maybe. Or maybe not. I'll just keep going. If I see it dies, then I'll, I'll um, change it. The, the Another thing that I heard on television, I've been watching a little bit of TV. And I was watching... Um, Mike from Carno Mad, and he was talking about how we're influenced by different things on television. And I guess I don't pay attention to a lot of the advertisements or a lot of things that are going on in, in, in TV shows that I see. That, But I did, after listening to his little talk, they are trying to push things on you. And I says, what the heck? Now they've got a sausage burger or sausage patty that is veggie? How can it be ve sausage if it's a vegetarian? It should be a spicy patty, not a not a burger of any kind. Just like the they have the veggie burger. Now it shouldn't be called a burger. It should be called a veggie patty because then it could be made out of beef. It could be made out of pork. It could be made out of anything. But it's a it's a pretend meat is what it is. And I also heard on the news about the Burger King was being sued because of their veggie burger was being fried on the same griddle that the real meat burgers were being fried on. So now the vegetarians are oh, causing up a big fuss. Okay, that's enough on the food stuff. Now we're going to go to telemarketers. Yeah, I get those calls, and I've been getting them. I've been getting them for the credit card, and I've gotten them for, I don't remember all that I get. But it's the only call I get all day, and it's kind of exciting when the phone rings because it's like, ooh, somebody's calling me. Well, <laughs> I know. I had, a, I had a telemarketer hang up on me one time because um, it was when I was running the daycare, and you hear you're talking with kids all day long. And I says, oh, I am so glad you called. And I started to say what my day was like, and he hung up on me. He didn't even tell me what he was calling about, but he hung up. Um, but I got a telemarketer call, and it was on your final funeral expenses. Boy, are they really digging deep now. <laughs> and I said, Final funeral expenses? Is that what you're... He goes, yes, ma'am. And he's had this... Um, Why did I do a southern accent? I'm, it wasn't a southern person. It was it was um, somebody from, like, 
I don't know, from Japan or India, India Japan, Japan Mid some, East Mid East, yeah, somebody with that kind of accent. And he said, yes, um, have you prepared? And I says, my, my final funeral expenses are all taken care of. And he goes, well, would you like somebody to call you to talk about it? And I says, why would I want somebody to call and talk about it when it's already taken care of? He says, well, wouldn't you like to add a little more extra coverage or protection for your funeral? <laughs> In you little vault. Die. If I die, yeah, I'm not dying yet. Okay, that was one of them, and that one was the fun one. The other one wasn't quite as fun, and we get these all the time, and it's right around now, and it's getting close to Christmas. They always say that they're from the National Police um, Bolivian so or whatever, um, some kind of society. Well, you know, police don't call you on the phone looking for money. Oh, I had another one. I, I'll finish this one, but it was, yeah. Um, they don't call you for money. They come knocking on our door if they really are raising money for it. Or we get something in the mail, like with the fire department, we get something in the mail, and it has the the um, fire district that we're in on that, the return address is on that, and the letter, you recognize the names of the people because they are people that are in your community. Okay, or that. Or they do the boot drive. Or the they do the section. boot drive, yeah. At the, we have in our town. Now, you could Google this if you like. We are the only town that has double arches. Not, not a McDonald's arch. <laughs> There's a single. <laughs> we have a double arch in our town. And it's on, and a state highway. on a state highway. Now, they had to get special permission to, to take that down to do some work on it because it was getting, it was old. It was been up there for many, many, many years and they had to actually widen, I think they had to widen the highway. Is that why they took mm. it down too? No, they had to take it down because it needed repair. It needed to be made safe again. Safer. It was, it was and they safe. wanted to put it back up so they had to get special permission. It's, it's, it's protected. It's listed as a National Historical yeah. mm, uh, Monument. Okay, National Historical Monument. <laughs> I think you heard him. I think in the other video I did, I wasn't sure if you could hear him, but you can hear him. My microphone is an extremely good microphone. Okay, the other one was I answer the phone and I say hello. And the other person stalls a minute and then I say hello again. He goes, oh, hello, there is somebody there. I thought you were ignoring me like my wife ignores me. And it's like he's just a goofy well, in Italian, I'd say stupido. <laughs> you know, it's in English the same, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But it's like really not very bright. And I just hang up on that one because that one is like, oh my goodness, this is, this is, he thinks he's cute. He's not cute. He's, he's kind of ridiculous. Well, I guess that is it. For, oh no, there's one more thing I'm going to do. At the end of this video, I had request to see my chickens come out of their enclosed run. I remembered to put the camera up this morning and I waited till it was daylight because it was kind of gloomy and it looked like it was going to rain and I was hoping, oh, I hope it doesn't rain because they don't come out when it's raining, at least not like they do when it's sunshiny. Well, it wasn't too bad out and so I, I did set up the camera so you will see that, but when I was coming back in, the porch area there is so slippery when it's damp and wet that I actually fell on my kulu. You know what the kulu is? <laughs> there we go. Those that are you Italians will know. Those that you are not, you can imagine. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was what happened. But you won't see that because, and I'll, I'll cut that out. You won't see it. You won't even know I did it. And so that's it for today. I hope you have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oops.